Today on Ballistic Burgers, we're going to have a knockdown drag out fight between the fake burgers. Let's get going. So yesterday I went to the store and I bought four of the top brands of the vegetable based meat patties. And my intent on this video is to kind of have a neutral voice. I'm not taking sides either way. Pretty much anybody that watches my channel knows that I'm a meat eater. This being said, I have zero problems with anybody making decisions to stick to a 100% vegetable based diet. I do have problems with, and, I, and I've had a lot of negative comments from you know, people that are living vegan lifestyles on my channel. And on the few videos where I've done, I, I think three videos where I've done you know, vegetable-based burgers, I've had negative attacks from people who you know, are fellow carnivores. So I wanna keep this out of it. This whole video is just about how these things taste, my opinions, Enjoy. So here's the first brand I'm gonna show you. This is actually, believe it or not, made by Bubba Burger and it's their veggie burger. This is the one brand of the other three brands. I have a total of four that they're not trying in any way to uh, make this appear to be a beef patty. Main protein source is going to be uh, black beans. Next is an old school brand, it's Morningstar Farms. Now this has soy flour in it, but there's a, I think some people would be a little concerned about this because it has wheat gluten and egg whites. I'm guessing egg whites are the protein source. So, uh, you know, it definitely wouldn't fit a vegan lifestyle. Then we have two of the big boys here, Beyond Burger. So I think Beyond Burger is at McDonald's. They have a burger at McDonald's using this product. Main protein source is pea powder. Then we have the new kid on the block from Impossible Foods, the Impossible Burger Patty. This is gaining a lot of traction and they're at Burger King. I know they have a Whopper made with this stuff. They are, their goal was to kind of come as close as they could to beef in texture. Main protein source is soy, but there's also potato protein, which gives it that kind of a beefy texture. Let's go ahead and get these guys unpackaged so you can see what they look like out of the wrapping. Okay, here's the Impossible Beef Patty. It, as you can see, you know, they're really trying to make it look like real raw meat. Has a little bit of a kind of a slimy feel to it. And those little white specks are coconut fat. That's the fat in this product. Here's up Beyond Beef Patty, same thing. They're trying to make it look like beef. It has a, I don't know, the color is more like like an oxidized beef patty and the little white speck, same thing. It's the coconut fat. And here's that Bubba Burger. Look, can you see it? <laughs> here's that Bubba Burger veggie patty. And yeah, it, it looks like a Christmas cookie with M&Ms in it. And here's that Morningstar Farms. I don't know. It looks like a cooked meat patty, I guess. That's what they're going for. You warm this up. So on this cook, I'm using my flat top. I've got it on a, like a medium high heat right now. And I'm going to cook every one of these burgers the same. I'm gonna treat them the same, dress them the same. And I'm not adding any salt on these because these all have a lot of salt in them. Something else to think about. Lay down some oil first. This is avocado oil because what I used on my last video, I had it handy. Get a grill going on the onions. Get these off this side here. Get a little grill toast on the buns. My far burner, that fourth burner, is not on, by the way. Just keeping things warm there. 
Now we're going to add a little oil down for the actual cook, which is what they say to do if you're going to use a grill or a skillet. All right, I'm laying the Bubba Burger down first, the Beyond Burger, and Possible Burger. I'm gonna hold off a little bit on the Morning Star Farms just because it's very thin and it looks like it just more or less needs to be warmed up. Again, a lot of salt in these products, so I will not be salting. This one give it a little press for sure. I give this a little press. And flip this. And here's the sear they took on. Obviously the Beyond and the Impossible look more like beef as far as a sear. One of the things about the Impossible Burger is you can actually cook it rare if you want. I mean, it's vegetable. You can eat it raw if you want. All right, let's start building these. So like I said, treating these all the same. Three pickles. Some grilled onion. Some Thousand Island, which I love on a burger. Crown these veggie burgers. And there we are. This is what they look like. Let's see what they look like on the inside. So this is that Morning Star Farms, and I know what it's going to look like on the inside without even cutting it. Just sort of a tan color on the inside. Here's that Impossible Foods Burger, Impossible Burger. And we have kind of a medium, medium rare on the inside. You can see that it's got some juices. So one thing that Impossible Foods did was they engineered this product they call Heme, which is basically emulating um, the myoglobin that we get in beef. Um, something to think about with the Impossible Foods burger is there's a lot of lab stuff going on. So if you have a problem with that, just again, something to think about. Now for the Beyond Beef burger, Kind of a medium look. And now for the Bubba Burger. Kind of a Christmas cookie M&M &M look. Does not look like beef. I see corn, I see peas, carrots, and beans. Now for the main event, let's try these things out. Going to go with the Bubba Burger first. It has sort of a pasty texture. The bean, you know, that bean texture is coming in, but it's coming in late. Initially, it's just a real pasty, kind of a blah flavor. And then, I'm, then you start getting a little like pops of carrot, carrot flavor, I guess, and some peas. You know, it, it tastes very much like a vegetable burger patty. It does not taste anything like beef. So if that's what you're looking for, just something that tastes like, you know, beans and vegetables, then this may be the option. I think if I were 
going to incorporate something like this into my diet, I would make my own because there's a lot of stuff going on in, in these brands. You know, it's a processed food still. All right, beyond beef here. Definitely has more of a meat kind of a texture. It's not bad. I could definitely eat a whole burger. Um, yeah, I mean, it's, it's not bad. It, uh, I like the flavor of hamburger better, that's me. But, you know, it's, it's not bad. Now, Impossible Foods. So I think they did a really good job of reproducing the texture of an actual beef patty. So yeah, I mean, again, like the Beyond, I, I could eat a whole one of these. So this is the Morningstar Farms. This is the old school brand, I think. And in my opinion, this, this there's a little deception going on on the labeling because of the egg whites. And I know, correct me if I'm wrong, that there are some vegetarians that will eat eggs, but I definitely know that uh, there's no vegans that eat eggs, right? I don't think so. Let me know. Let's try it out. So it's definitely got a crunch on the outside. Inside there is a little bit of texture, but it's more leaning more on the kind of gummy side, I guess. So here's the funny thing, looking and thinking about this Morningstar burger, kind of having some memories going on. So I'm gonna date myself here. I started kindergarten in 1969. By the time I finished kindergarten, it was 1970. So graduated high school in 1982. So I, my, from kindergarten, the middle of kindergarten, all the way through my 12th grade year, I basically went through the entire 70s. And this, <laughs> this Morningstar burger tastes almost identical to the burgers that they fed us at the cafeteria. And I usually brought my lunch, but occasionally for you know, kind of a treat, I think it was really because my mom didn't want to make lunch, uh, I would buy lunch and I was always excited about the hamburgers, but that's what they tasted like. They never really tasted like what, you know, I think a burger tastes or feels like in your mouth. And it also tastes like from the same era, like the 70s, the, <laughs> the hamburgers that we would buy at the drive-in movie theater were just like this. So I'm guessing they were pulling some shenanigans on us as far as, I don't, if it wasn't, 100% non-beef, you know, it was definitely had some non-beef stuff going on in it. But anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Again, my whole point of making this was just to give you my opinion of how these things cook up and how they taste compared to ground beef. A couple of them I would eat. I would eat the whole burger patty. I don't know if I'd run out and go out of my way to buy the stuff. And Again, when you look at the ingredients list, I'll have the ingredient lists and the nutritional information down in the description box. There's a lot of stuff going on in, in these other than just, you know, vegetable products. I mean, there's a lot of stuff going on to kind of make them taste and feel like beef. But um, yeah, for me, this was a fun video. If you're not subscribed, please hit the subscribe button. Make sure you ring the notification bell. And if you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. I hope you guys liked it. Keep the suggestions coming in. I will see you on the next video. Cheers. And this is Longboard. It's a island lager from Kona Brewing. Cheers.